Hello everyone. So in today's class, we will planning to start the service bus, uh, Azure service bus. So actually, how to do the same thing and what is this, and we will see the, uh, you know, the demo as well with the Azure function. So you can find this uh, PPT from slice.com or with this name service bus. So okay, let's get started. So Azure Service Bus basically is a, a, a is a, 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 a message broker है basically so इसमें एक pub और sub का concept होता है जिसमें एक one applications जो होगी वो एक message को publish करेगी and second जो application होगी वो उस message को consume करेगी और weekend से जो listen करेगी उसको basically हम जो mainly इसको async processing के लिए हम लोग message broker use करते हैं ताकि आप कोई भी application दूसरे के लिए किसी के लिए wait ना करें वो queue में push कर दे और दूसरे application जो उसको queue से read कर ले ताकि दूसरे application को फिर वो wait करने की जरूरत ना पड़े basically जो Azure service bus है वो एक cloud hosted solution है cloud hosted messaging system है और which is very secured and is highly scalable system है तो and also secured so we don't need to worry about it from the security perspective and all these kind of things so what all are the uh, scenarios in which we can go for the uh, service bus so to for the agar aapko agar decouple application banwana hai agar aapko decouple kisi bhi application aap if you have a two application and you want to decouple those applications in that case you can go for the messaging system and if you if you have two applications uh, and you want to do some you know the, the async processing between those applications in that case you can go for it and uh, suppose suppose there, there is one scenario in which you can also go for it suppose there is a, a application hai jo ek transaction management ya account management hai aur ek second application hai jo net notification system hai so aap yahan pe kya kar sakte ho ki ek account ya transaction management jo system hai wahan pe aap kya kar sakte ho ek code likhoge code likhne ke baad mein aap kya karoge wahan pe aap ek event ya fir ek jo wo jo application hogi publisher hogi jo ki ek queue ke andar ek message publish kar degi और जो नोटिफिकेशन एप्लीकेशन जो होगी वो एक क्यू से आ, या सर्विस बस से मैसेज रीड कर लेगी और ऑन दैट बेसिस द नोटिफिकेशन सिस्टम विल सेंड द ईमेल और मैसेज ऑन दैट बेसिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट सो यहाँ पे असिंग प्रोसेसिंग हो गई क्योंकि यहाँ पे जो फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन है दे डोंट नीड टू वेट टू दू नो द रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द सेकंड एप्लीकेशन दे ओनली नीड टू पुश इन टू द क्यू और वी कैन से ओनली नीड टू पुश इन टू दर्विस बस सो आर लेटर द सेकेंड एप्लीकेशन और द नोटिफिकेशन एप्लीकेशन विल फेच द डेटा फ्रॉम द मैसेज बस सो दिस इज द सीनेरियो इन विच यू कैन गो फॉर द एजोर सर्विस बस एंड what all are the fundamentals of service bus so in azure as you know we are using azure service bus so what all are the fundamentals which we need to take care when you are working on the azure service bus so first of all you have to create the name space uh, in the azure service bus so what exactly is the name space so name space is nothing but just a container for messaging the component all the messaging component that means jitne bhi yahan pe aapke क्यू है टॉपिक्स है या और भी जितने जितने भी चीजें होगी रिलेटेड टू द मैसेज और सर्विस बस वो सारी जितने भी चीजें होगी वो कंटेनर में होगी सो दैट कंटेनर इज कॉल्ड नेम स्पेस दैट कंटेनर इज कॉल्ड नेम स्पेस एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज द क्यू बेसिकली क्या है ना कि एजर सर्विस बस आपको दो दो वे से आप मैसेज सेंड कर सकते हो रिसीव कर सकते हो एजर सर्विस बस के अंदर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन है क्यू एंड सेकेंड ऑप्शन है टॉपिक क्यू आप तब यूज करोगे जब आप वन टू वन कम्युनिकेशन करना है दैट मीन्स द वन एप्लीकेशन वुड बी द वन एप्लीकेशन वुड बी पब्लिशर एंड सेकंड एप्लीकेशन वुड बी रिसीवर यहाँ पे कोई भी किसी भी टाइप का सब्सक्राइबर फंडर नहीं है सब्सक्राइबर इन द सेंस कि इफ यू हैव वन यू नो क्यू और मल्टीपल्स आपके पास जो लिशन और कंज्यूमर होंगे और यू कैन से रिसीवर होंगे वो इसमें कंसेप्ट नहीं होगा क्यू के अंदर क्यू के अंदर वन एक पब्लिशर होगा और सेकेंड जो होगा वो रिसीवर होगा and there is one more thing q sorry topic so topic ke andar wo aap feature le sakte ho jiske andar topic is also used to send a message and receive the message from the service bus so basically topic tab use karte hain jab aapke paas ye wala requirement ho ek publisher ho aur is topic ko multiple receiver or you can say consumer ne subscribe kar rakha hai on the basis of of their requirement so wo jo जिस जिसने उस टॉपिक को सब्सक्राइब कर रखा है उन लोगों को वो मैसेज मिलेगा 
so in this case if you have a this kind of scenario in that case you can go for the topic of the azure service bus and uh, what all are the uh, features which is provided by the azure service bus you can say the message session based message uh, you can uh, you know use the auto forwarding feature so what exactly is the auto forwarding auto forwarding feature means like you know uh, aapke paas ye ek topic hai aur ek aapke paas ye ek queue hai so what you need to do is suppose you want to uh, suppose you have a one queue and one topic and you want to you know forward your uh, message from the topic to queue in that case you can go for the auto forwarding feature so in that case you need to do some configurations or uh, or you need to do some you know uh, configuration related to the queue or from i mean the from from which to you want to uh, transfer your message like suppose you want to send message from you know topic to queue in that case you need to provide the you know uh, to queue name and from uh, topic name so these kind of basic information you need to provide in case of auto forwarding feature and on one more thing dead letter queue uh, in the worst case scenario like assume ye kariye ki aapke paas jo receiver hai wo jo hai wo uska message ko listen nahi kar pa raha hai aur kisi karan one se us message queue se kuch you know queue message jo delete ho gaye hain so dead letter queue mein aap bhej sakte hain ya fir automatic queue chale ja sakte this is up to your configurations so dead letter queue support bhi karta hai ye azure service bus and schedule delivery schedule delivery ka matlab yahan pe ye rehta hai ki suppose karo abhi aapne abhi aap ye chahte ho ki abhi uh, shaam ko 8 baje raat mein 8 baje aapko ek message uh, you know trigger karwana hai uh, trigger karwana sabhi consumer jo jo bhi listen karne wale hain usko shaam ko 8 baje se listen kare to aap kya kar sakte ho din mein 3 baje hi aap jitne bhi messages hai jo publish kar sakte ho but wo receiver ke liye tab applicable receiver ke liye tab wo अवेलेबल होंगे जब वो जैसे ही आठ बजे की तो आप जो शेड्यूल फिक्स कर सकते हो ऑन द एजोर सर्विस पर सो दैट रिसीवर कैन कंज्यूम देयर मैसेज and similarly we have message uh, deferral batching transaction filtering actions auto delete on ideal so these kind of all these are the basic feature of any any kind of broker or you know message broker uh, where you can feature all the uh, you know find the features here and there is one more feature filtering so filtering and actions is available for only you know the topics only as you know you know the, the if you want to like uh, uh, suppose there is one scenario कि आपने एक मैसेज पब्लिश किया है इसमें और एक सीनेरियो ये कि ये जो पब्लिश किया है सिर्फ इस पर्टिकुलर रिसीवर वन को ही मिलना चाहिए रिसीवर टू और थ्री को नहीं मिलना चाहिए सो हियर यू कैन अप्लाई द रूल्स एंड फिल्टरिंग लॉजिक हियर इन द टॉपिक सो दैट द ओनली दैट रिसीवर विल गेट दैट मैसेज सो जो जो भी इस फिल्टरिंग या रूल को मैच करता होगा so that kind of thing you can also apply duplicate detection security protocol go disaster recovery so these are the feature of azure uh, you know service bus so you can find it here the next one agar hum ek iska demo bhi dekh sakte hain aap ye mere github ke link hai so from here you can get the demo and here we can say like this is my applications this is my you know publisher application so ye jo example hai ye azure functions ke sath mein integration hai iska service bus ka so we can see this example here so first of all you need to create a azure service bus so this is the service bus you need to create and uh, in the service bus as you know uh, we can send and receive message from the queue and topic so either you can either you need to choose queue or you know the topic so in this example i am uh, i will use uh, the um, topic only so that you can see how to subscribe the topic as well so in the left hand side you need to go into the topics and you need to create the you know topics here so you need to click on the topics and you need to create the topics and you need to si tell the size and all these kind of basics information so what is the maximum message time to leave information so so ye sari informations aap yahan pe de sakte ho so after that when you are going to click uh, click on the create button so it will going to create your you know your um, topic as well so once you have created this topic uh, you can see uh, uh, something like this so yahan pe topic create ho jayega aur yahan pe अब आप देख लोगे टॉपिक क्रिएट होने के बाद में आपको क्या करना है कि इस टॉपिक को सब्सक्राइबर करने वाले कौन कौन है रिसीवर कौन कौन है सो यू हैव टू क्रिएट द सब्सक्रिप्शन एज वेल सो दैट पीपल विल गेट सब्सक्राइब योर यू नो जो भी रिसीवर एप्लीकेशन होगी वो इसको सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं सो यू हैव टू क्रिएट द सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर दिस यू नो फॉर दिस टॉपिक सो दैट पीपल विल यू नो सब्सक्राइब दिस टॉपिक एज वेल एप्लीकेशन सब्सक्राइब दिस टॉपिक एज वेल सो वेन यू 
once you have done all these kind of uh, things then you can uh, able to you know publish the uh, message into the azure service bus so let's try to publish so let me uh, okay let me up the application so mvn azure hyphen functions and colon run so when you are going to fire this command so it will going to you know up your uh, azure function so and here you can see uh, this is the very basic code which i get from you know uh, the azure documentation so this is the basic standard code so let me show you azure uh, azure api order so let me let me uh, let me create a one request local hosts local host 70 7071 api slash order so here i am going to publish my order with some information so so you need to provide your basic information so here what i am expecting here so i am expecting item name email id price so let's go for the json data here so let me uh, provide the json data so name here you can say less test email uh, what is the next one is the email email test gmail.com and next one is the item item is the laptop so these are the information which you can you know provide here and so let's when you are going to trigger this you know uh functions here you can see you know the, the let me let me uh, the the you know message count let me see you the message count when you are going to publish anything so you will see the message count is one when you are going to publish uh, here you can say message count is one so the, for now there is no listener so messages are uh, will be in the queue uh, so or you can say in the topic so when you are going to click the next again send button so here you can when you are going to refresh this one and you will see you will have a you know two message count so yes you can see the two message count so that means we have a uh, we we are able to you know publish two messages into the queue right so now Uh, let's try to you know uh, consume those messages or we can say uh, we need to apply the uh, receiver end so that the we can you know get all the messages uh, from there here so okay so now we can kill here so that we can up our application on the same port okay uh, let me fire the command again azure uh, function colon run so here we can get the message name transaction handler okay so this is the you know the handler uh, you know receiver end so this is the uh, res sorry consumer end receiver end so we don't need to do anything else we only need to you know publish with the click on the send button or we don't need this kind of data as well because the task is to get data from the uh, uh, topics or you can say you know service bus on, only so when you are going to click on this one so here you will get all the data here you can see uh, you know i have done some you know print all these kind of data here so i can show you all this data here where is the data let me show you let me publish so all, uh, now you if you look at the you know and you refresh this one the all the message count is 2 okay so all the uh, zero sorry all the message count would be zero because our listener is listened all the messages here so that's why you can say you know all the messages we can read uh, here so in the console actually you will get all these kind of data in the console but yeah definitely we can uh, get so here you will get the data 
when you are going to see all the logs then definitely you are here you can see i am going to print all the data here so you will get all the data here okay okay so that's it in this video so we'll we'll see again in the next video okay